So when you're built on culture, you're built on strength. And the one thing about strength is where you play basketball and you play different sport that give you strength. Sometimes the strength that you're living in have a balance to the power of authority. Sometimes I tell Latoya, when I go on this court, she just saw me on the court just now. But you know how it is. She lives not too far from here. And every time I come over here, I take her back to where I start. I take her back to the school I used to attend in one year. Tell me? And take her back there, it made me realize that God could defeat the enemy right on the court because I'm attacking. You're attacking the enemy on the court. And sometimes when you battle yourself in a way, I'm going to tell you this. I got saved. I, I knew God when I was about 9 or 10, to be honest with you. And I didn't get saved until 13, 14. At the Bitter Ridge Park at 79th Street, the one I took you to. Yeah. And when I got saved, right, you know that led me to God is by leading by example. You know what led me to Christian faith? Leading by example. Sometimes I don't tell you certain things that I have to agree by, but certain things that I have to do, I have to pray and defeat the devil that's trying to control me. You feel me? So when you have to put your foot down and step down, you put your foot down, step down, and say, listen, I'm trying to defeat the enemy. And sometimes the devil got you attacked because you're trying to defeat the enemy that's trying to vote the vote for you to get where you at. But the dividing of the situation here, you build on the trust of your faith, you build on the trust of your life, and you build the trust of your life cycle that you have to believe. I'm gonna tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to judge you because you like the right things. I'm not going to judge you because you like the wrong things. I'm going to say to you is that the love that I have for you is the love that I have for the person. Because it's about respect. It's about honesty and respect. You feel me? So that's what it's about. So let me tell you. So right here, we on, up, we on um, Leffers Avenue. So the park is back that side right there. That's the park where we just came out of. All right? Right around here, the Jewish live right here. Respect them. Uh-huh. And um, we got to take Kingston all the way down because I like this walk. Right? I think it's King. No, it's not Kingston. New York. I think it's New York, I think. Yeah. So, culture is where it first started. When you build on culture, you're built on strength and faith and happiness. Sometimes your happiness is like your culture, your divining, your, your living creation of where you were into and how you go into it. My question to people is how did you get a change in life that you could build? I build by change because I know that when you build by change, it's about building up structure. And the structure of your life is about understanding the purpose of why the culture is in you. Let me tell you, the right thing about culture is about understanding the truth of principle. And your principle is how, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to take you on a court where I got saved. I'm going to show you why the enemy had to instruct me on that court. Because you have to learn by the, the past of life. And the parts of building cycles. And when you build up cycles, it's about understanding the, the culture of where you came from and how you're going to get there. And sometimes your culture maintain on your beliefs. And sometimes your culture maintain on a structure of belief. But sometimes your belief maintains you by understanding the culture that you are already in. But let me tell you, when I, when I live in culture, you live by respect. You live by honesty, you live by power, you live by the the the, the anointing of the power of God in you. But sometimes the power of God turns you into certain things that you don't want to be. You feel me? I'm going to take East New York now because I, I, I shot Kingston over there. I got to do that area. So, um, every, day is a, every day is a struggle. Every day is a, every day is a struggle. But when you go through that struggle, you got to pray and rebuke the struggle out of your life. Every day, every day is a, is a frustration. Every day is a, a principle where you have to go and rebuke. Sometimes the enemy comes and attack you in every direction. This is what's called traffic jam. 
Everything that you go through in life is about traffic jam. Everything that you try to get to your destination, you can't get there on time, traffic jam. Because your life is full of, your life is full of dimensions that you have to rebuke. And sometimes when you rebuke dimensions in your life, you you live in a, a situation where the dimension in your life starts from you because you're confused. You take the things that you do and you mix it up with the things that you, do, you you're not supposed to do. And this is the thing that you have to understand. Culture is about change and understanding the power of obedience. If you're not obedient to yourself, you're not obedient to other situations, you know? So let us go. I'm gonna walk down the street right here. I think I gotta start shooting from after this lady house. Uh -huh. So let's see. We all have a fire. All right, ready? Here we go. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna time, I'm gonna end it at seven minutes, and I'm gonna shoot from back this side. So let's do it real quick. All right, guys, see you in the next video. To those. All right.